Do you know what the slang terms woo woo, goat and props mean? Would you like to know their stories and how to use them in sentences? You do know it's cool to use certain slang terms except in formal writing, right? If you'd like to know more about these words, keep watching. But first, do subscribe to The English Nut. Thank you. Slang words often have interesting stories. Here are three of them. The word woo woo doesn't mean wooing someone twice over. It's a slang term used to mock ideas or practices, especially ones related to alternative medicine or new age cults that are unscientific or outlandish. It can also refer to a person who readily accepts supernatural, paranormal or pseudoscientific phenomena. Here's how you could use woo-woo in a sentence. Deepak Chopra's teachings are scientifically sound, not woo-woo stuff. Or, he's got so deeply into the woo-woo stuff, he refuses to take conventional medical treatment. Or, she's really into the woo-woo practices of the new age cult she belongs to. The term is not always hyphenated. You can write, the group she belongs to is woo-woo. The term woo-woo is inherently judgmental, so we should use it carefully. As the Pulitzer Prize winning reporter Julia Moskin said, one man's woo-woo is another's deeply held belief system. British spiritual teacher Victoria Maxwell, who calls herself the new age hipster, has proudly embraced the term woo-woo. She offers woo-woo courses and provides woo-woo news updates to her followers. If more and more people like her start using the term positively, one day it may become a complimentary term. Like the slang word nerd, which used to be considered a negative term but is used in a positive way today. Originally, it described a studious, socially awkward person who was not considered cool. In contrast to the jocks, the athletic ones who were glorified. Now it's cool to be a nerd with the likes of Bill Gates and Steve Jobs who might have been described as nerds in their college days and beyond, achieving iconic status. Woo Woo has been around since the 1980s. It's probably an onomatopoeic word that originates in the sound of the electronic musical instrument called the theremin used on the soundtracks of horror and sci-fi movies to recreate the eerie or spooky sounds associated with the supernatural. The theremin is played by moving one's hands in the electromagnetic fields around two projecting antennas. Unrelated to the usage we have talked about thus far, woo-woo is also used as a childish expression for the sound of the sirens of ambulances, fire engines and police cars. Don't be offended if someone calls you the GOAT, especially if it's GOAT written with capital letters. Do you know what this slang acronym means and where or rather who it comes from? When someone, usually a star athlete, is called the GOAT, it means that he or she is simply the best in his or her field. Serena Williams, LeBron James, Michael Jordan and Lionel Messi are some of the sports persons who have been described as the GOAT. You can write the word with or without full stops, G full stop, O full stop, A full stop, T full stop or G-O-A-T. But what does GOAT stand for? Let's rewind to 1964, just before the fight that earned Muhammad Ali the world heavyweight champion status, he proclaimed, I am the greatest. Indeed, till date, he is considered one of the greatest individual sporting champions of all time. Jump ahead to 1992. Muhammad Ali's wife, Lonnie Ali, established Greatest of All Time Inc. or GOAT Inc a company that would license her husband's intellectual properties for commercial purposes. And so it was that the greatest boxer of all time gave us the term GOAT, an abbreviation of greatest of all time. According to the Merriam-Webster dictionary, the earliest quotation of GOAT used in the way we do today was in 1996 in a forum of the American basketball team called Orlando Magic. The sentence was, Penny is the GOAT describing the basketball player Penny Hardaway as the greatest of all time. The term GOAT grew in popularity in rap music circles. And in the year 2000, rap musician LL Cool J released a super hit album called GOAT, the greatest of all time. This helped GOAT become a more mainstream term. The person with whom GOAT has most often been associated over the years is American football quarterback Tom Brady. As per Google Trends, 
Brady being called the GOAT peaked in 2017 when his football team, the Patriots, made a miraculous comeback in the Super Bowl. When Serena Williams played her first tournament after giving birth, her husband took out a billboard calling her G-Mote, G-M-O-A-T, or greatest mother of all time, giving a sweet twist to the concept of GOAT. While GOAT is most often used with sports celebrities, it's also applied to musicians and other public figures. The rock group The Beatles is probably the top contender for the GOAT title in the world of Western popular music. While the all caps GOAT has nothing to do with the farmyard GOAT, in social media, the GOAT emoji is sometimes used in jest when talking about someone as the greatest of all time. Props is a slang term derived from propers, which means the same thing. Both props and propers are shorthand for proper respects. To give props is to give praise, respect, credit or recognition. You could say huge props for that award-winning Instagram page, man. Or the batsman earned his props with his match-winning sixer. Or I give you props for winning the debate competition, dude. And if you want to give very enthusiastic praise, you can use the term mad props. All the dancers deserve mad props for tonight's performance. Props is originally hip-hop slang. The Oxford English Dictionary traces back the first mention of props to this quote from the Chicago Tribune in 1990. I was one of the first female rappers, but I've always gotten my props. As I mentioned earlier, props is abbreviated from propers, which is an even older African-American slang. Its first use in print was in 1971 in the Chicago Daily Defender. The quote goes, a level of existence which affords each black man his propers, dignity, pride, and the ability to govern his destiny. So there you have it, three slang words, woo-woo, goat, and props. Two of them have African-American roots. One of them is inspired by the soundtrack of sci-fi and horror movies. Use these words to make your language more colorful. Even though they are slang, it's perfectly all right to use them, except in very formal writing. I read somewhere that the fist bump is the physical equivalent of giving props. So let me end this video with a virtual fist bump. I'm the English Nut. Bye for now.